Hello everyone, and welcome back to RimWorld. Last time, I think it was last time, that I turned the difficulty down, and I was really irritated with the difficulty being stupid. It was a really longer episode, for some reason I decided not to pay attention to the time. And I found this cave, cavelet here, so... Yeah, we have a cave with a tiny little grass spot. Which is actually interesting in a way, because that means I could put a lamp here. Um, sun lamp, once I actually... Yeah, I actually have sun lamps already. Put a sun lamp here and grow hay grass here. Or food inside my mountain here, which would be great. But what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go ahead and start placing some orders down to mine out this way some more. Since the path got screwed up a little bit, had a couple more bedrooms down the line. There you go, a couple bedrooms. We're gonna cancel this path. Well, that's gonna be the last bedroom on that road because I'm not gonna have any more paths this way. But this one we can continue on, and I can actually build room down here. But that'll be the last one accessible from the bottom. So we're gonna do that right there. So let's release them, let them get to mining, and I can actually start building up my structure here. Uh, we're gonna actually start placing down little area here so this is gonna be like my prison is what it is so this is gonna be there that's gonna be there and we're gonna like separate these rooms out one two three Hmm, let's see. How do I want to do this? I just have two separate sections. That's what I want to do. Just have two separate rooms all together. And we're going to have a tiny table in there. Just a small table on either side with a stool and a lamp. I don't have power here yet, but it's going to have a lamp. I'm going to go ahead and place it. And then it's going to have some beds. And we're going to have doors. There you go. I wanted to get that laid out. And that way, once they build this, I can mine out this other bit. And once they build do that, I can... Because they will... It will collapse if you don't have support. Like, I need to put a support right here in the middle. So I can actually mine this section. Because I don't trust... I don't want the cave in. I don't want anybody to get hurt. So we're going to actually... Get forced. That way... I, it's nice actually having food now there. It's nice that I'm not getting raided constantly. It's nice that I'm getting food. Because that was my problem. Was I wasn't getting food. Because I kept getting raided. Because I kept having to heal or fight. And I couldn't get food. So now that I'm getting food. I'm enjoying my game a little bit more. Which is a lot better. Now that I'm enjoying my game. I'm not going to rage over it. That's going to be harvested now. And those can be harvested. Awesome. We're actually getting some stuff done now. They're mining stuff out. I don't know why they're getting... I don't know why this is mined. I don't know... Harvest. I don't know why... This is mined? Oh, I, I know why that's a wall never mind I'm being silly pay me no heed I keep forgetting that that's a wall I keep forgetting that this is actually a wall for the medical line 
Once she builds this structure, I can mine this out and that out, and I can actually build that wall. Okay, so I can mine this wall and this wall out. And we can fix that. And I can also mine this and these. And we're going to get some of these plates all snazzed up. I can actually move one of these beds now. We install at another location. Right there. It's great. It's awesome. I really don't like finding these pockets. Because now I've got to do that. And it is 94 unroofed. Unroofed. Unroof ninety four degrees. Why is it unroofed? It should be roofed. I mean, this is not roofed. This is outdoors, but this is should be roofed. Overhead mountain. Rock roof. Overhead mountain. Rock roof thin. I'm going to actually end up walling this off. Constructed roof. Hmm. I don't know why it's saying that there's no roof there. Oh, it's because it's overhead mountain thin. Constructed roof. Rock roof thin. Okay, cool, awesome. I have something awesome. We're gonna do machining, smithing, weapons and tools, craft guns, machinery and disassemble mechanoids, metal weapons and tools. We're going to do stone cutting. Unroofed. I don't like this unroofed section. I don't know what says unroofed here. It should be roofed. There's no reason for it not to be roofed. Unroofed. Oh, it's because the doors haven't been constructed yet. I guess. Where's Taz? She's eating. Indoors, unroofed. Unroofed 90. And because it's unroofed... She's doing it, okay. Because it's unroofed, it's counting it as... Higher temperature? So it's kind of annoying. It's really annoying. Maybe this will clear it? Indoors. Okay. So all I wanted to do was make sure it was indoors. Structure. Wooden wall here. Okay. Wooden wall there. Cool. 
So this is my this is my medical this is my prison. Um, this is my start of my stuff. Um, I will actually build out here and have some crafting. I need to build a stockpile. So this kind of indoors as well. And these are all in freezers. Frozen won't fall. Okay. Awesome. We're doing good again. Let's speed them up. Because I'm at the point where I need them to speed up. We still have plenty of meat. We have eggs for some reason. I found uh, from the crash thing. Um, I'm going to get a couple of animals killed. We'll just tame a couple of muffalos if we can. So we can sell them. And I need to start setting up security. I need to start setting up my perimeter as well. Why are you sleeping outside? Uh, architect, furniture, and we're going to have an animal sleeping spot. Right there. We're also going to have some right here. For all these animals. Just so they quit sleeping randomly. So I can keep track of all my animals. It's hard to keep track of them if you don't keep track of them. Because you do get a lot of them once they start breeding. Because I ended up with so many alpacas. Alpaca party. I, I said I had an alpaca party. Alrighty. She's going to start mining again. She's supposed to be very, very good. Okay. There's Taz building. We can actually deconstruct all this crap. Awesome. We're getting it built up. It's nice knowing that I'm getting this structure built up. We have struck compacted steel. Awesome. As I said, I probably won't mine out, mine it out, but if I do, I might mine it here, and I might put stone bricks there or something. Uh, but this is going to be replaced because it's going to be wooden walls. So it's not too bad. Why is Bender faster than her? Her mining is 14 and hers is 13, but she's like so much faster because she's industrious. Oh, okay. All right. I was like, why is she so much faster? She's not supposed to be, Bender's supposed to be uh, just normal mining. Okay, so she's a ninja miner. Why are you not building the walls first, Taz? Sometimes I don't understand the building process uh, queue in this game. Like, oh, I'm gonna build this thing that was placed a long time ago. But these other things that were placed later, I'm gonna build them now. Uh, I'm gonna reinstall this here. Here, and we're gonna reinstall this. Okay, cool. We're gonna have smithing now. We're gonna reinstall this here. I have a new muffalo. Yay, new muffalo. Something to sell. Exactly what I did that for. Okay, I have prison cells. Awesome. I have a prisoner cell. This is also a prison cell once I can actually set it. I have a muffalo. Animals. Muffalo can go in the alpaca like a zone. It's not their permanent home, but it's a thing. We're getting there, though. My plants look like they're growing good. They are at 82% grown. Um, I just don't have a good stockpile. It's just everywhere at the moment. I wish I would have to do this pl madness plastic still. 
The dog eats hay. I don't know the dog ate hay. Hmm, that's something new I learned. Um, I need you to fix this blueprint, darling. This one. Are you fixing that one finally? If I can set this for prisoners? Thank you. I have two prison cells. I have a medical wing with a support in the center. So let's actually set these as medical now. Um, they're mining away in these new bedrooms. We have one bedroom here. Are we finally going to get people's bedrooms? And once I get people's bedrooms set up, we can, um... So who doesn't have a bed? We have Hurdle, Bender, Nathaniel, Taz, Kyle. So Jumper needs a bed. Jumper. We'll just let them pick their own bed. That's fine. Just go ahead and pick your own beds. Just pick them. It's okay. I can make this my stockpile zone. And it kind of makes sense for my stockpile to be in here, I guess. But I'll have tiny stockpiles somewhere for like wool and stuff because I'm getting alpaca wool right now. Which means for clothing. Which means money. Which means awesome. It's great. I'm getting I'm getting stuff now. I'm getting I'm getting stuff. Okay, we're gonna do that. And everybody's got a bed now. Awesome! Look at this, I have two alpacas. Are they both the same gender? Male, female. Actually, they could breed if I wanted them to. But they might eat a lot. They look like they eat a lot. They know cows. Once you get cows, gosh, they eat a lot. They eat so much. Why is Kyle stuck? It's getting there, though. I actually have an in-mountain base. Chilling in a mountain. People finally have their own bedrooms. It has been an entire month and a half. A season and a half. Of mining through this thing. Dealing with raids. But see how much calmer it is without the raids. It's in so much calmer without the raids. I do need to start running power. Um, back to the back zone so I can put lights up. An alpaca is present. Pregnant. Yay! Pregnant alpaca. Fragger's alpaca. That's exactly what I wanted. Fragger's alpaca. Because that means more alpacas, which means more wool, which means money. That's exactly what that means. It means money. Awesome. Okay. The trooper travelers are passing by. Are they selling are they selling anything? No. No. No trading trades? Then why are you here? Then go away. I'm not interested in your trades. Okay, we're gonna mine out this wall. We're gonna make these orders. Uh, we need this wall mined, and we need this wall mined, and we need this wall mined, and this one, and this one, and this one.
And all these. Okay. I'll run the cable across. And we're going to start putting power through here. All the way down. Okay. Beavers, just what everybody wants. They finally get their own bedrooms, and I. Yay, muscle parasites. I love muscle parasites. They're just annoying and they stay forever. Um, it's not a bad disease. But it's just annoying. This is the reason I'm not on power. Look how dark it is in my base. I have no power running to my base. At all. And I can't run the comms console where I want to be. Because it's going to be in Taz's, um, Taz's room. And, yeah. I need power to run it. Because Taz is my talker. And because Taz is my talker, I need it in her room. So she's run the power cords, do where she can. They still haven't mined it all. Can't have that there because it will go sideways. Cargo pods. What's in that cargo pods? It's a whole bunch of polar bear skin. Wow. How did it land inside my house? I'm indoors there. Sometimes it makes no sense where things can land. Um, we're gonna have some machining. Go machining. We're gonna get ready to lay out some walls here. Okay, there's at least closed in my area. Because I won't. To give them their, make sure they have their, they still have their own bedrooms. Because if they don't have their bedrooms, they get that negative bit of saying, sleep in the same room, share a room with someone. We're just lost in the wilderness, but I'm going to complain about sharing a room with someone because I'm whiny. I mean, if I was seriously, um, okay, we'll go rest and let somebody take care of you. Stupid. Um, if I was lost, like stranded on an island, I'd probably want to stay in the same room as somebody else. But like, okay, I'm not going to worry about my own freaking privacy when I we just freaking crash landed on another freaking planet. Because at the time, you're like, I don't really care about it. I'd rather care about where my food is. They're getting it on in the bed. Look at that. Look at this. Had a nice chat. Mm-hmm. That was a chat, all right. I saw that. I saw those hearts. I know what those hearts mean for animals. It's just not meaning anything for people yet. Mm-hmm. I know what happens after those hearts appear with animals. We have things like that happen. So, yeah. Maybe y'all are a little bit smarter there, but yeah. Cargo pods. Chocolate. Chocolate for everyone. Everyone can have chocolate now. Why is Hurdle up in the middle of the night? I mean, I'm not complaining that Hurdle's out there working and cooking food for everyone right now. Chilling. Are you my uh, resident gay guy? Yeah. He's also a hired assassin. Mm-hmm. He's not a very good cook, but, you know, it's what I have to do right now. I don't have a good cook. 
I need to cook. So we're getting somewhere. Poor mood. Kyle. It's because he's sick. Mm-hmm. I know what's wrong with him. He's joy deprived. He's sick. He's in darkness. He lacks a bionic body part. I can't afford it yet, Kyle. Sorry. Um, I need more batteries. I need more power stations. I need a lot of stuff. We're working on getting power run to all y'all's rooms right now. And once we have the power run, we will be good. You just got to bear with me, Kyle. It's taking a bit of time to run power everywhere. I'm going to make a wind turbine. Um, where do I want the wind turbine to be? Out oh, here? Make a couple wind turbines. And then we'll wrap the powder power back. Okay. There we go. And I'll make a battery room soon. And we'll get power on the secured side. Actually, I can use this um, starter section as a power zone because that's not going to be my storage zone forever. And I can work on creating a whole bunch of batteries, a battery farm, kind of, should I say, for my people. Mm hmm. Oh, power is starting to happen. Look at that. It took. It took forever, but it's a thing. Jumper and hurdle. Jumper's my doctor, isn't she? Because I know how bad this can be. Because I know how desperately bad this can be. Jumper, you're on bed rest and nothing else. And who's the other person? Jumper and Hurdle. Um, who can cook? You're on cooking duty. For the time being. Hurdle. Bed rest only. Nothing else. And I sent whoever I set to doctor only. We don't have much medicine. But we'll just have to run with it. Alright, I was just going to end the episode. But let me explain what the severity of that was just was. My other playthrough. I've only ever had one person die. And it was through malaria. It was the very beginning of the game, similar to this. I only had a few people. I only had like four, actually, at that time. I only had a few people. It was two people that got sick. I have seven people here. Actually, I might have had five people last time. But I have seven people here. I actually have enough people to uh, diverge the workload, around at least. But I only ever had one person die. And at the very, very end, at the very, 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 very last there was the immunity tick was at 99% and she died right before the immunity ticked over. Um, it was the only person I had die. So I'm expecting one of these people to die. Um, I'm not sure which one. I don't have any normal medicine. 
but if I happen to get any, do I have a choice over who to get? Who would I pick if someone gets the better medicine? I need traders because I need medicine. I have herbal medicine and I have somebody who has decent medical skills. But yeah. So I guess next time we'll see what happens to Hurdle and Jumper because that will happen. It should take over. It should take that much time. But yeah immunity 61 hurdle is immunity 61 we'll just have to see if they both survive or if they both don't we'll just have to see we'll do that next time until then bye